is BJ Chambers, and I'm here with a weekly roundup for May 30th. Last week, I talked to you guys a little bit about the part of the inspiration for the serial that I'm working on currently, and today I'm going to talk about another part of the inspiration for it. And I'm, okay, so, um, this doesn't go back nearly as far. It's not something that's been in my head for as long. Here comes a cat. Um, but I guess it goes back a couple of years. No, just to last year. So, um, the television show Game of Thrones, when it first came out, I watched the first episode and then didn't watch anything else of it. Not because I didn't like it, but just because I was like, meh. I wasn't like blown away by it and I didn't care and Aaron was watching it all the time and it was like his thing so I just let him watch it because Aaron does this thing sometimes when we're catching up on shows that have already aired where uh, he won't wait for me he'll just keep on watching the show and get way ahead of me and then if I want to keep watching I either have to catch up on my own time or else just read Wikipedia articles and then jump in and so Anyway, thing was, I was behind. So anyway, when the the second season, I guess it was the second season of Game of Thrones. Maybe it was the third season last year. Yeah, it must have been the third season last year. So when the third season of Game of Thrones was going to start, Aaron decided he would marathon all of the earlier Game of Thrones episodes and to catch up, like, just to, like, refresh his memory or whatever. So I was watching them with him. I don't know how long it took. It was a long time. It was a lot of episodes, but I got like really into it. It was great. I was like, oh, this show is awesome. And I really liked it. And it was the best. Um, and then, uh, Aaron was reading the books and he was like, you should read the books. 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 And he kept going on and on about it. And I was like, no, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to read the books. I don't want to read the books. And he finally, at some point was like, why don't you want to read the books? And I thought about it, and I was like, I don't want to read the books because so far I've gotten by watching this television show, and it has not made me want to write fantasy. But I swear to God, if I read those books, I know I'm going to start wanting to write an epic fantasy series, and I can't write an epic fantasy series. I don't even write epic fantasy. I write urban fantasy and science fiction and thrillers and horror and young adult and romance and so anyway at this point I realized that I don't have a genre so that was silly and maybe I wouldn't want to write an epic fantasy series so I started reading the books and sure enough I began to want to write an epic fantasy series so one of the things that you'll notice about Game of Thrones if you and, and the books, the Song of Ice and Fire books, if you've read them, is that um, a big component of the story is that basically they're like fantasy stories with this big threat of ice zombies. Um, the ice zombies, they're called like the Others or Whites and they live in the north and they're dead people who come back to life um, and they kill people. So they're basically ice zombies. And I was just like, this is so cool. Why aren't there more fantasy type stories with zombies? Like, basically what I wanted to write was like the same kind of thing where there would be zombies, because I like zombies, and, but it wouldn't be like the normal post-apocalyptic landscape. Um, so, what I decided to do was to take the setting, the typical sort of setting of a zombie apocalypse thing and just push it way forward into the future and have it like like have the zombies sort of be part of everything but have the the way that everybody functioned to be more like an epic fantasy story like with kings and queens and horses and castles i thought this would be great um but then i started thinking well like that none of this makes sense because if really if there had been zombies for you know, I'm I, at first I was saying 500 years in the future after the zombie apocalypse, and then I decided that was way too far because, like, everything would have disappeared by then, and I wanted there to be at least 
some vague vestige remnants of our civilization that you could stumble onto like ruins and um like there might be some things 500 years from now but i figure most of the things that we put up there like there's still for instance like we still have ruins from you know the roman civilization which was like a thousand years ago but well two thousand years ago but um but it it was like better built and it it has to be preserved and stuff like it was like made out of like stone and you know just made to last whereas all the things that we built like built now are just made out of like junk materials and they're all gonna fall down <laughs> like if nobody takes care of this stuff it will just like it will go away so so I ended up deciding 250 years and now I have no idea where what I was talking about before I went on that big long tangent um, I just realized that it didn't make any sense why on earth after 250 years we hadn't rebuilt civilization to some extent like we would have had some raw materials um, so why wouldn't we have started to like work on you know refining ways for electricity and like making the um existing power grid and stuff like getting it back online like why wouldn't we have done those sorts of things like why would we have regressed into this medieval society so that was when i first created the cult the life um which i wrote about in uh out of heaven's grasp so if you like out of heaven's grasp and you would like to see what happens to the cult of the life um 250 years after the zombie apocalypse Please read my new serial. I know there's not really, there's no connection between those two things, but I just kind of was like, why not, why create an entirely different polygamous cult when I wanted a polygamous cult in the first place? One of the things I decided that I was going to do if I was going to write fantasy and what was going to make it fun was that what you could do with fantasy is you could just take everything that you like and throw it all in there and it'll all work because there's like it's a whole brand new world I can make it however I want so I was like I want to write about polygamy so BAM there's polygamy in there and then um, I I was like remembering the idea that I had about the chick and um, Nadine inspired person from the stand where a chick would be like have to you know marry and the devil or whatever and I was like BAM that's going in there <laughs> and um, I wanted to I've been for a long time really wanted to write um, uh, a male male romance with two gay characters um, who have like some sort of forbidden love situation that's in there <laughs> so like the whole thing is just a hodgepodge of stuff that I couldn't like I had ideas and I just all threw them into this idea um, and the reason to get back to what I was trying to say originally that the cult the life works is that they do not believe in technology number one and number two they um, actively discourage learning anything <laughs> like they don't want you in at this point in time they actually don't let people read um, they did let people read in uh, in Out of Heaven's Grasp, but it was it was somewhat discouraged. Even that, like there, there's like quotes of the original founder Robert Morris saying that like you know reading is not really all that good for your mind. <laughs> um, so like they're like they're very literal kind of cult that says like everything that humans do to think for yourself or to have technology or whatever is evil, and they believe that that the zombie apocalypse happened because of technology so they control the entire world the well what's left of like the united states and um from sarasota florida which is where one of their uh bases was or their their communities um and they and so people don't that's why there's no technology and that's why society hasn't progressed because they don't believe in progression of society. That took a long time to get out. All right, um, anyway, so uh, that is a little bit more about the serial. 
I'm sure there's more stuff that I can talk about um, in the next couple of weeks. That's just sort of a little hint of things to come. And I guess go ahead and sign off now. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next week.